but you're getting oh! <laughs> Hey Vogue, I'm Rosie Huntington-Whiteley and this is my daytime bold lip look. So I wanted to show you guys how I would do a kind of very casual, bold lip look, something that I might wear in the day or something which I might wear to a meeting where I want to have a bit more color on my lip but not look too defined or too polished. So I've already done my uh, base and foundation, so I'm gonna go straight into all the fun stuff. So even though I'm going to really focus on the lip here, I do wanna add a little bit of something across my eye, and I thought it would be really fun to apply a little bit of an iridescent, kind of pearly, sparkly feel to the lids, but in a really subtle way. So I'm just using a flat brush and kind of really pushing and packing on the eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow color because it's really brightening. It's very subtle, it's sort of just like a wash of color. I think I'm happy with where it's at right now. So I'm gonna leave it there. Last thing I'm going to do is just apply the eyeshadow right down into the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take my cotton bud or a Q-tip and apply a little bit of the same eyeshadow right into the tear duct area of my eye. And this is such a great tip that I've picked up from makeup artists over the years. And it really is a very simple and effective way of brightening the eye. So one of the rules I always follow is I usually will choose between working on an eye or a lip. So in this case, I've done a bold lip and I've just done a subtle wash of color across the eye to keep things balanced and to keep things, you know, looking natural. Okay, so next up mascara, I'm gonna take my eyelash curlers I never apply mascara without curling my lashes before. This is key in keeping my eyes open and my eyelashes curved and defined. Mascara. So I love this uh, brush because it's really big and fluffy and that is effectively what it's gonna do for my lashes. Okay, so the last and most exciting step is the lip. I'm gonna start by just applying a tiny little bit of hydration to my lips, which will help the lipstick go on really seamlessly. Usually when I'm picking colors for my makeup, I'm often thinking about what I'm wearing, I'm thinking about where I'm going. I also want it to feel really comfortable all day, and a blurred lip is a great way of doing that. I don't have to be too worried about the application and touching it up throughout the day, and it adds just a little bit of pop of color in my daytime. I'm obsessed with this lip product because it's like a liquid ink kind of powder formulation and so that's really going to make this lip bold but also kind of undone and casual. As I blend it up into my lip line, I sort of get almost like a blurred effect around my mouth. And then I'm gonna just take my finger, push it in, blot it in a little bit. And then I'm gonna take what is left on my fingers and I'm just gonna apply a little bit into the apples of my cheeks. Applying a little bit of lipstick as blusher is a great way of tying all of the colors in across your face in a cohesive way. And it's also a really good tip for getting a multi-use out of your products. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. That is my daytime bold lip look. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you again. Hi guys, it's Rosie Huntington-Whiteley and if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, you can subscribe below.